Pasa familia. Connecting, connecting, connecting here. The vortex between us. Amazing news and not so amazing news. I want to share both with you. Let me know when you jump in. Let me know where you're tuning in from. If it's a replay, let me know it's a replay and where are you at? Every time I love seeing how we through a Facebook Live, we just connect all the countries, so many countries in the world. So welcome, 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 guys. I've got really good news for you. And also I want to share like a painful experience I just had and, and what happened, what did I do around it? Because I know a lot of people are going through a lot of pain and through a lot of challenging times. And I feel this can really, um, really help transforming all these suffering patterns can can hold us back okay hello roberta andrea cynthia good good to see you guys amazing amazing guys amazing so first amazing news i want to start with the good news right let's do that let's do that so the good news guys is that you've asked me and messaged me i have hundreds of messages from the five day immersion we did right who was part of that five-day immersion and all the upgrades we had and everything like i was sharing a method called quantum flow which is the activation that we use uh, mindset and breath work and, and all this to move energy and to feel really good in our bodies and really good in our lives right so um you were all asking me to share more around quantum flow and this uh saturday i will be sharing a live class with an amazing dj using quantum flow and it's going to be focused on the science and art of bliss how to transform any suffering pattern in our lives how to turn it into bliss you know because it's 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 the potential is there in our body so when we learn the science and the art we don't get stuck in the drama and this is what i want to talk about because i feel many times we do get stuck in the drama, we do get stuck in the suffering pattern, and then we just loop and we get lost there. And that's why we, f we suffer for so long. So I wanna start by saying, um, it's, also, it's always a choice. You, you, you can choose, you know, to suffer and pain, we're all gonna have pain. Pain is, is gonna come and go, you know? We, we can't avoid pain, but suffering is when you keep going and going and going and going and just killing yourself, repeating the same thoughts and the same emotions until you create a pattern in your brain and you're used to always reacting in the same way. Yes, so this class is gonna be about how to transform that and how to tap into the energy of bliss. So if you're interested, just comment below with quantum flow and I will be sharing that with you. Yes, I will be doing more of these classes here and there. But, um, um, I'm gonna go deeper into that class after. Now I wanna share with you what happened, because you know when things happen to me, guys, when things happen to me, I'm the first one I wanna share with you. I have nothing to hide, you know? I, I love sharing my humanness, because I feel there's so many people out there that are helping so many others, but it's all about the face, you know? And it's almost like, it's all good, it's all perfect, and, and I'll help you, but, it's hard to see someone looking at themselves and seeing their own humanness and how they transformed something that was holding them back and how they created that as an opportunity to rise even higher, right? Let me know if you understand me, if you feel me. Yes, Quantum Flow, let's do this together, guys, if you're open to the class of Quantum Flow. So you can see me now, I'm really light up and I'm like, in bliss, I'm feeling really good, guys. This morning at 4 a.m., I was feeling really, really sad. I woke up with fire in my belly, feeling horrible with uh, a situation that was happening. Many of you know that I am leading a quantum flow training, like this, 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 these activations that I lead, I'm teaching others to do them. We have over a hundred people learning and we're having the best time ever, guys. It's the most amazing group you can imagine. I love them all. You know, when I, if you've done trainings with me, you know I go full on, like it's my tribe, it's my family, I give everything, right? And I, and I, and I really look up after people, you know? But there was some situations happening between the students and there was specifically one person that 
has a lot of titles, that is a master, that is, has a doctorate. It's a naturopathic doctor, you know? So it's a person that knows a lot, and it's a person that has a lot of power and energy, and it's very connected to her intuition. So this person, of course, was helping a lot of people, but at the same time, this person was using um, sexual distortion, even though if it's online, working with sexual distortion, with sexual energy in ways that it was abusing people and manipulating people underneath, you know, and, and, and the, the, the things got out of hand and, 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 and some people suffered and, and it really affected them. And I don't want to go into details because that will be just like nurturing parts that I don't even want to nurture. I want to talk actually about what it is this sexual distortion that is happening especially in spiritual communities, and so many people just falling down into this trap that is the sexual energy, not knowing how to deal with it and actually using their power to manipulate others and actually get something from there through sexual energy. Like it's all about energy. And guys, there's a lot of parasites out there. There's a lot of people that are there sucking the energy. And if you're not aware and if you don't put your boundaries and if you're not there present, guys, be careful because they can take you on a labyrinth. And this is what happened here. I was aware, but I was working with the person, talking to them, helping them because I saw the full potential. You know, it's a doctor and it's helping so many people and it's so amazing and so intuitive. But guys, I did everything I could until it just all the truth came out. You know, this is what's happening right now in the planet. The truth is coming out. Guys, we can't hide anymore. There's no way. Like, if you haven't got, you know, true with yourself or true with somebody, do it because it's going to come out in the surface. Like the energy that we're living right now in the planet is clearing everything, especially today, full moon, you know, in Mayan calendar is, is the storm. So, so we are clearing. Today is the day of clearing and I could feel it in every cell of my being. So I got into calls with with a couple of students and I'm like, please tell me the whole story, what is happening? They reached out to me, like everything happening this, this morning, like everything got together. So it's like, okay, I'm gonna use this. And when I heard them guys, I felt so much sadness. I felt so bad with like me as a teacher, like I, it's like a father not showing up for their children, you know? And like, I was so present, I was so there for everyone. Everybody was having like, so many upgrades and opening up like changing their lives it's been four weeks we've been guys what you hear from every one of the students is like their whole life is changed already and they're sharing this they're doing videos all the time so i'm there i'm riding the wave i'm feeling the best ever with everyone we are in the best time and all this truth comes out for me it was like a it was like the biggest surprise i could i could have received when i saw the magnitude of it and Guys, I felt like a knife in my heart. I was so in pain. And I'm like, oh my God, why is this affecting me so much? And of course, it was touching a wound in me of betrayal, of sadness, of something from my past, which I dealt with because it was, of course, we're always, uh, it's important for us to see ourselves. Whenever anything happens outside, I always take the responsibility. Why did I attract that in my life? I don't blame people outside of me. I always learn from it because I, I'm here to evolve. I'm here to grow. I want to be a better person and a better, great, great, greatest version of myself. So, you know, bring it on. I want to see this. I want to bring on the triggers. Bring on, you know, let's do this and, and let's work on it and let's transform it. This is how I live my life and, and that's why I thrive in my life because I don't get stuck with this stuff. But um, uh, my past wasn't like that. Like I would have never even let myself feel the sadness. I would have felt actually anger and call this person out and just do a whole thing like full of anger and like talk about how bad this is for humanity and how this is possible. And I would have gone off guys and I couldn't even feel the anger at all guys. I just couldn't. I just felt sadness. I let myself feel the core of the emotion. And I feel that's the first step, guys. If you guys want to transform suffering patterns and not repeat them, the first thing we do is we let ourselves feel it. Feel it to heal it. Don't try to mask it. Don't try to fake it. Even if you're a teacher, guys, even if you're a, a, a leader, even if you are guiding a whole group of 100 people that are already amazing and are already leaders, you know, like... I stood up there, I put the Facebook Live on and I shared from my heart and I cried in front of the group. And I shared like 
why it was touching me and, and, and how sorry I was and, and everything. I shared my heart. We all connected so deeply. Everybody was with me. Like we went so deep. It just made us go even deeper and connect even more and like learn so much from the experience, you know. But it helped me honor that and I let myself be raw and real, guys. It's so important. To let ourselves be more and real and acknowledge, I am feeling this. I can't deny I am feeling this. Why do I have to hide and put these things under the pillow? Because for a man, it's not okay to, to, to cry. You're kidding me? Because for a leader, you can't show your vulnerable. Sorry, what is a real leader, guys? Isn't a real leader a human that shows his humanness to the world and says, this is me and this is what I do with my humanness. I don't get stuck in my stuff. You know what I mean? For me, that's a leader. And we're kind of missing these kinds of leaders in humanity. It's all about masks and it's all about look at my life. It's all perfect and it's all good. And look how, how amazing I live and look at all the things I have and look at all the clients I have and look at all that money I make. And I mean, that's cool. But I feel we inspire much more people when we speak our truth and we share raw and real. So step number one, guys, be always raw and real. Let yourself express this emotion. Step number two, don't get lost in the emotion. Feel the pain, but then transform it. And this is where quantum flow comes in. This is a method I've been using for 20 years, helping thousands of clients all over the world. Guys, and it's so fast. You let yourself, you feel the emotion, and then you go and you transform it through movement, through breath work, through, through feeling where the emotion is in your body because your body is just a reflection of what's happening at an emotional level, at a mental level. It's all been ingrained in the body, but people tend not to connect the body with that. So they kind of run away from the body. They try to run away from the from what they're feeling and try to fake that it's not happening. Put a mask and let's be strong. Let's be powerful warriors. <sighs> I don't know how much that warrior energy is going to help or last, guys. Not much, really. It's time to be the real warriors, which is being raw and real with ourselves. And then... What are we doing with that emotion? Okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling sad. Let me share it. Okay, I can, I, can, I can share about it. I can cry. I can do whatever. I'm feeling anger. I'm feeling frustrated. Like, be real with what's going on. What are you going to... Sorry. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do? Are you going to keep it in? Are you going to blame somebody else? Are you going to treat somebody bad because you're feeling that? And by the way, guys, please share this. If you can share it right now. I feel this is good information for people right now trying to be positive, trying to be in the law of attraction or trying to be spiritual. And I'm a yogi or I'm a, I'm a spiritual being. I'm on the path. I'm an evolved being. I don't feel those things anymore. And, okay, guys, yes, but no. Sometimes you got to feel them. So it would be really amazing if you can share this, this live uh, a video with your people and, and, and share this message with the world. I feel it's very important the world hears this and we start getting raw and real with our emotions and feeling them and from there, guys, transforming them. Don't keep them in. Don't hold them in. They don't belong in your body because what happens every time you uh, hold it and it's like, I'm strong, I'm not going to cry, I'm not going to say that I'm envious or I'm not going to say that I'm jealous or I'm not going to say that I'm frustrated or angry. I'm going to fake everything's good. Every time you do that, you can fake it till you make it. But something in your gut, in your gut, in your belly, in what we call the hara, the, the powerhouse of your body, contracts. And you crystallize. You crystallize the nervous system. The nerve endings, which are related to the chakras or the energy vortexes, are completely related to the nerve endings. The, the, the nerve plexus that are in your body. And if you have these nerve plexus that are free and the energy is flowing free, the electricity that is used in the, in the nervous system for everything to communicate, right? It's pure electricity. It's what we call biophotonic energy. It's actually energy that's very similar to the sun. The sun, the light of the sun, sends through biophotons. We have biophotons in our bodies, guys. This is how amazing we are. But when the nervous system is clogged, when we used to live in stress, when we used to live in control, when we used to controlling our emotions and not letting them be, 
what happens is that these nerve endings start crystallizing. These nervous plexus start crystallizing. These nervous plexus are related even to the hormones. Every one of the endocrine system is related to a nervous plexus, related to an energy center. This is how we are made as human beings. This is how amazing we are. Okay, so when you know yourself and you know the science of how you are and how not to get stuck in the suffering patterns, this is when you start thriving because you don't hold things anymore. You learn how to transform them. You learn how to use this energy that has been clogged in your system for manifestation. And this is why quantum flow is the art and science of manifestation. It teaches you exactly what to do at a nervous system level, at a brain level, with your organs, with your emotions, with your thoughts. It works on every layer of your being. And this is why I wanna share it with the world, guys. And this is what has saved my life and thousands of clients' lives when they're going through moments where they're stuck in the same suffering pattern, thinking the same things, uh, acting in the same way, feeling in the same way, nurturing, firing and wiring those nerves, those nervous plexus and those nervous endings in the same way that we keep repeating the same behavior, receiving the same results. So how we come out of those patterns, how we come out of those, that addiction, because it becomes an addiction to suffering, guys. A part of us, our ego, becomes addicted to suffering. I invite you to look at that. Yeah, give me some hearts if you know what I'm feeling. We become addicted to drama. It's incredible. And only we can choose if we stay in drama and nurture the drama or we feel the pain, we express it and we shift it. We breathe it through, we bring it out of our system, not holding back. And then we start wiring ourselves that instead of keeping things inside and, and creating a, a, a blockage in our being and actually holding us back and keeping us clogged and disconnecting ourselves from our throat, from our expression, from expressing our truth, from expressing who we are, from speaking to the world our truth, you know, and what we feel and how we see life. We're so scared to do that. We're so scared to be rejected. We're so scared to what they're gonna say and think. But once we stand in our power and we say, this is who I am, this is my truth, and I'm here to speak my truth no matter what, something changes in the field, guys. You start living in such a power. You start feeling unstoppable. You start feeling so good, like anything can happen. Guys, any challenge can come to your life and you will transform it, I promise it. Because you wire yourself, you fire and wire yourself that every time something comes or happens, you respond. You respond in the best way possible. You don't react. We're so used to react. Oh, they told me that, they wanna hurt me, I'll hurt you back. Oh, they said this, I'm gonna say double. And this is the ego game where we are lost in drama and that's why the majority of couples separate at the end because they get lost in the drama of the ego instead of going back and observing and saying oh my god look at that pattern what did that come from i'm feeling so hurt by what you said oh my god this is my inner child that's feeling hurt oh my god you are acting like my father you're acting like my mother you're reminding me that you see instead of blaming it on the person and getting stuck in the drama and then nurturing that drama that you just get used to reacting in the same way that is survival mode, guys. And we can choose to or live in survival mode or live in thrive mode. What do you choose? I choose creative mode. I choose my genius mode. I choose my thrive mode. But this morning, guys, I could have gotten so triggered. I could have gotten so angry. I could have done a mess. And instead, I opened myself to feel my sadness. And then I did my quantum flow to release this and transform it. And guys, in a matter of, I would say, uh, it took me like an hour to shift. 
you know, and I, I, I worked, I did like 20, 15, 15 minutes, 20 minutes of quantum flow because it's fast, it works really fast. But then I was, I was slowly coming back because it was, it was really painful, you know, but I saw myself, I saw my pattern, I saw the drama, how it wanted to kick in. And I said, no, I'm not feeling the drama. I'm working with this right now. I choose thrive mode. Yes, Natalie, thank you. I'm working with this right now. I'm in quantum flow. Quantum flow, it's my lifestyle because I am committing to be the greatest version of myself and I want to be open to the quantum field not the limiting possibilities the quantum field is the infinite possibilities that we always have available but when we do this when we do this guys and we get lost in our little thing in our little me in the poor me and in our drama and in our suffering pattern we get lost in life and we forget there's infinite possibilities available for us to step to the next level and use the challenge as an opportunity and this is what i did in the morning i shared my heart everybody was with me we got so deep as a tribe we got together and then guys what happened I upgraded. I felt so good. And after that, I felt more energy than I have felt in the last 15 days, guys. I'm feeling so, I've had so much creative energy. I'm, I'm, I'm working so much. I'm going so deep, guys. So deep. Why? Because I didn't get stuck in my suffering pattern. I didn't get stuck in my drama. We all can. I'm not judging you if you do. I've been there. But more and more, I've taught myself. You've got to teach yourself. It's not going to happen alone. You got to relearn, guys, because they taught us through our parents, through our teachers, through the past memories that are in our nervous system ingrained. And the nervous system is part of the unconscious mind. Did you know that? Your unconscious mind sets in the nervous system. That's why the embodiment work is so important. When you shift through your body, you shift these energies that have clogged you that are repeating the same patterns and firing and wiring your brain and your nervous system in the same way. And you say, no, I'm not going to feed that anymore. I am standing up as the greatest version of myself. Let me shift this and let me actually nurture my soul. Let me actually nurture these parts of me that are waiting for me to say yes. It's the infinite reality. It's the infinite possibilities, guys. And this is what we are doing this Saturday, guys. We are going deep into a quantum flow workshop. If you guys want to come and, and join me, I'm, I'm bringing the most amazing DJ or, or one of my favorite DJs in the world. He's Costa Rican, but he's amazing. He gets the quantum flow. I've been sharing with him lately. He's going to come here to my house in Dominical, travel all the way two hours to come here. And we're going to do something live together. And it's going to be a workshop where I'll be going deeper into the science and art of how to transform suffering patterns into bliss. I call it this discipline. Discipline, not discipline. Discipline doesn't work. It's too forced. Okay? So if you're interested to learning more about this art and science and learning and want to go deep and experience the bliss of being alive and awake, the bliss of being you, authentic, real, and unique you, please write Quantum Flow there. Let me know. Quantum Flow, that's it. And I'll send you all the details as soon as possible, guys. I am here to support you guys and share with you everything that has helped me all my life to go deeper, to transform, to not get stuck in these patterns of my little me. Yes, discipline, Haiti, exactly. Because discipline, it's not forced. You, you get a practice, and that's what quantum flow has been for me. I used to force my practices so much. Guys, I've been doing yoga, qigong, shamanic practices, meditation, all this stuff since I'm nine years old. If you know my story, my, my brother almost dying, I went, I went with him all over the world, meeting all the most amazing shamans and healers and, 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 and the most amazing people that helped my brother and, 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 and healed him, actually, and we helped his healing. I was doing all these practices with my parents, you know, I was doing all this stuff, guys, and I got so, so heavy on it. I got so strict on it, so strict that it became, I need to practice every day and I need to practice one hour, one hour and a half. Sometimes it was so forced. It was so boring, guys. I had to do it because I'm a spiritual being, because I'm in evolution, because I'm... Same with body work. You know, I went to lift weights and it's like, I need to go to the gym. I need to force myself. And there's a time where 
it's like it's too boring guys can we find a way that it's bliss that we can do it in a blissful space same with diet guys i used to like i want the perfect body i need to you know wait like 200 pounds just pure muscle and i'm gonna go in diet and i created the most craziest diets that you can imagine, but I wasn't happy, guys. I was always forcing myself. Then I became vegetarian for 15 years, and that was good, I felt really good, but then I felt to come back to meat, but I was forcing myself, like, I can't eat meat. I said I'm vegetarian, and I forced myself for more time to stay vegetarian because I had promised myself, and I felt ridiculous to come back to eat meat when my whole body was asking me to eat meat. And there's nothing wrong if you're gonna eat a piece of fish or something here and there, and, and your body is craving it and needing it, you know, and I don't eat it anymore, and if I feel it, I eat it. I'm not a vegetarian, I'm not a vegan, I'm a fritarian. I love being fritarian. I eat whatever I feel, but you know what? Usually what I'm called to eat is raw vegan. My body just craves the best food ever because I've taught my body to do this. I've detoxed myself in such a way that, that my body craves it. You can teach yourself all these things, guys. You don't need to keep following the same suffering patterns, the same addictive patterns that we had followed before. And this is where quantum flow helped me. Quantum flow brought me out of my addiction to sugar, for example. I was so addicted to sugar. I was looking for something in sugar, you know? And then I was addicted to sex. I was looking for something external, trying to fill in my emptiness through sex. And whatever, call any substance that you want, I've been there. <laughs> I've been there, guys. When I was 17 years old, I explored everything, you know? I burned those, I burned those, those, those matches and they're gone. I, I didn't come back to it again, you know? But I've been there. I know what it is to try to feel an emptiness that you have inside. And that's where I'm like, I'm, I really need a method that can help me transform all this emptiness that I feel. All this loneliness that sometimes I feel. All these um, low vibration emotions that I don't know what to do with them. Nobody taught me. And that's where I went deep into kinesiology, Chinese medicine, Qigong, yoga, energy matrix, hypnosis, NLP, shamanism. All of it, guys. I did everything because I was suffering so much. So I really went deep into like, I want to be the best version of me. And I want to help the world be the best version of them. And that's where quantum flow was born. It was coming through me, respecting all the universal principles of all these practices. That's why it's so powerful. And then I could see it in me, like I would shift my state in 10, 15 minutes, just shift it just like that. 10, 15 minutes. I would go speak in stages where I would have to do two hours of a keynote to get people into their hearts and understand what the you know what it was to be in the heart because i couldn't do yoga with standing on stage and people sitting down listening to me you know i could stretch a little bit but i needed something more powerful and that's where quantum flow came through and through this quantum flow i would see people in five ten minutes open up and shift and come out of their heads all these corporate people all these like entrepreneurs ceos fully on their minds Yes, very positive, full on mindset, but disconnected from their bodies and their hearts. So my mission, the last five years has been help all these people to get into their hearts, to connect with discipline, to have a practice that they can get in the flow state, that they can get in high performance in a sustainable way. You know what I mean? It's a sustainable way. You don't just get in peak performance and you burn yourself. I see so many people doing that and they, they come to me like, oh my God, with adrenal fatigue and they don't know what to do and they're burned down at 45, 50 years old. They look like 80 guys. What? Why? Because nobody taught us. It's time to learn the amazing biological matrix that we are and how can we use our full potential in the best way, guys. It's time to step up and say yes to all the technologies we have available right now in order to shift our state and enter that inner creativity, that inner genius that is waiting for us to come up and open up. And this is what I did this morning, guys. Instead of getting stuck in my drama, in my little me, I feel betrayed. Oh my God, all my children, you know, all my students uh, are, have, have been exposed to, 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 to these energies. And it's true. It's true. I was very sad. And it's something to be sad about. But I didn't get stuck. Let's shift it. We all shifted it. 
and we moved it and then we all stepped it up. And now I'm doing this live just to share with you guys how amazing this is and how we can live our lives like that. Not because I'm more special than you, not because I'm lucky. No, guys, I hate the word lucky. I don't believe in the word lucky. I believe we create our path. I believe we're responsible for how we act in the world. And if we're reacting or we're responding, if we're feeling the drama or we're opening up to the quantum field of infinite possibilities all the time, if we learn to observe in, instead of getting caught up in the little details, in the little uh, black uh, point in the white piece of paper, it's a choice, guys. And only you can do it. Only you can do it. Nobody else can do it for you. Only we can stop blaming the world for our situation and start owning, why did, this, did I attract this in my life? And this is, this is what I had to do. My whole hour of transformation wasn't just doing quantum flow in my body and shifting the energy. Guys, my transformation was seeing why did I call this person into my group in 20 years of teaching trainings, guys. I'm a specialist on helping people be, become a teacher or acknowledge the teacher, the leader that, that they are. I do leadership trainings. I do, I do shamanic trainings. I do healing trainings, quantum flow trainings. I'm all about trainings. I did so many yoga teacher trainings. I've been there for so much because I love empowering people. I love seeing people shine. I love people coming into their inner mastery and saying, yes, this is me and I'm here to share my message with the world. This is me and I'm not holding back anymore. I'm here to shine my light no matter what. That is my biggest gift, guys. But for me to see students having this, my brothers and my sisters, because I don't only see them as students, but see them like being touched and being affected and being abused by somebody else's sexual distortion that they're using their power and their titles and their knowledge in order to manipulate them and use their energy for their own self-service, not for divine service, not for universal service. It's such a little step, you know? It's, it's such a fine line between one and the other, self-service and divine service, universal service, guys. We can be so close to that, you know? And this is where we get to be the masters of the house. We get to be the warriors present. What part am I feeding inside of myself? Am I feeding my ego? Am I feeding that little me? Am I feeding that drama that wants all the attention? Or am I feeding the greatest version of me? Am I playing small? Am I playing in mediocrity? Am I staying in my comfortable zone? Or am I committed to be the best version of myself? And that's what I did today after this happened. I looked at myself and said, Wampa, why did I attract this in my life? I haven't attracted this for 20 years. The best groups, guys. And if you've been in my retreats and my online workshops and everything, you know, you can, you can testify. Let me know that, that you know. You know, I see some of you here. It's always been the best group ever. We are magnets and we attract. Or people that are into like sluggish stuff underneath, like not good, you know, not high vibration. Or people that are amazing in high vibration and just want to go deep with you and create a tribe with you. For 20 years, I've always created the most amazing tribes. Why did I attract this person? Even if it's one person, I don't care. I look inside, guys. I look inside and saw myself. Why am I vibrating? And saw myself when I started the course on a very, like, I went on a journey that was very hard on me. I was having a lot of challenges. I was helping so many people around the world. I was not listening to myself, guys. I was draining myself. I was working 12, 14 hours a day, working for free, just helping people, helping clients, doing live uh, free immersions. You, you saw me. You were part of my five-day immersions that I did, right? Many of you were. You know what I'm talking about. I was there just giving myself for people. I didn't take care of myself. My energy was drained. I was down. My defenses were down. I gave too much, I didn't listen, I didn't love myself. This is what my lesson was. And this is why I let this person come into my field, into the field of the group. And this is why I have to own my responsibility. How can I be showing up like that? It's not okay. It's not okay. I don't tolerate this anymore. And I be my father and I be my own mother. I'm not gonna be hard on myself, but I'm real. I'm not gonna blame it on anyone else. Own the responsibility and shift it and learn from it, guys. It's the only way to manifest the life of your dreams. It's the only way. 
guys, there's no other way. There's no other way, guys. This is the first step of manifestation, and this is what you learn in quantum flow. And for the ones that are just coming through right now, we're doing a workshop of quantum flow activation, which is a very powerful embodiment manifestation method. Very different every time that I teach it. I never teach the same thing. If you've been to my ceremonies, if you've been to my activations, it's not gonna be the same, I promise you. We're gonna go in a different way. Every activation reconnects different parts of the brain, reconnects the meridians, the channels of energy in the body, to the organs, to the muscles, to the nervous system. Like everything gets rewired and reconnected every time we do a quantum flow session. And we approach it in a different way. So if you're into going deep together and learning the science and art of transforming these low vibrations, these suffering patterns into thriving, into creation, into expansion, into abundance, into prosperity, into radiance, into charisma, come join me, guys. It's going to be this Saturday. We're going to go deep together. Just comment below, comment Quantum Flow, and I'll share with you the details. It's, it's going to be a very powerful, with live music, with a DJ. We're going to go really deep, guys. But, you know, it's the question is, like, how deep do you want to go? Many people want to start in the com comfortable zone. Many people just are there in the addiction. And they just are addicted to their suffering patterns. And they're addicted to drama. And couples that keep fighting and fighting and fighting between them. And treating each other the worst ever. And they continue falling into the same suffering patterns just because they're used to it. Just because it becomes the normal. And that's why I tell my clients all the time, why is that the normal? That's not normal. It's not normal to be fighting every day and in drama every day. I never have a drama with, with my partner. Never. We speak. We look at each other's eyes. We share from our heart how we're feeling. If we were touched, we take responsibility for what we are living. Each one of us. We don't blame it on each other, but we've done a lot of work to get there. The first step of these guys is be raw and real. It's the first stage of quantum flow. It's called grounding. Yes, deep quantum flow, Sheldon. Thank you. We're going deep, deep. Get ready. Deep quantum flow. The first stage of quantum flow, guys, is get raw and real. In order to shift your current reality, you got to get raw and real. How are you feeling with your current reality? You can't fake it till you make it and just the law of attraction. Yeah, I am love. I am abundance. And money is not coming in your field. Let's see why money is not coming in your field. Let's see what beliefs are inside of you that are attracting that scarcity in your life. And not fake it that I am abundance. I am abundance. You know what I mean, guys? Let's go deep into the core of it. Let's go deep into why you're not manifesting the partner of your dreams or why you're living a shitty relationship right now. Let's go to the core of it. Let's transform it. You don't have to conform with it, guys. You don't have to conform with the pain in your body and just say, that's just the way it is. Or, 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 a, or, a, or a behavior that you have and just say, that's just how I am. I'm, I'm too old to change. Really? No, guys. That's your personality. Your personality you can change it whenever you choose to change and there's no age for this. I've worked with clients that are 80 years old and they've changed their whole current reality. This is not true, another false belief. So really guys, this is about being raw and real and saying, where am I in my right life right now? Do I feel good about this? Do I feel good about my life right now? No? Okay, let me be grateful for my life right now. I'm not saying not be grateful. Always grateful for whatever is. But from this place of gratitude, do I want to shift my state? Do I want to open up to the infinite possibilities that are available to me right now? Not tomorrow. Not when I'm triggered. Not when I'm in a suffering pattern. Right now. The choice is now. Now is the time to say yes to it. Now is the time to say, I can shift my state and shift it from this contraction to this expansion, to this flow state of manifestation. We all have the capacity to live in the flow state of manifestation. I know, Timothy, I used to play with those excuses too. I used to procrastinate. I was the first one to procrastinate. Come on, guys, let me know if you know what procrastination is, self-sabotage. You know you got to do something and you don't do it. You promise yourself you're going to change something in your life and you don't do it. And you keep playing small and you keep feeding those parts that are keeping you small. And you know it and we keep repeating the same patterns. Why? It's not your fault, guys. 
nothing to be guilty or ashamed of. No. That's how the human being has been wired, guys. That's how humanity has been educating ourselves, our teachers, our parents, our friends. That's how people live their life. That is the normal. That doesn't mean is the real normal, but that's what the normal has been. Let me say, put a goal and just procrastinate myself to not create a goal. And maybe I achieved three goals, but I didn't achieve the other seven goals. Why? Oh, whatever. I just worked so much today. I'm going to eat that. All that sugar that I want to eat. I deserve it. I can have it. Come on. It's good. I'll start my diet tomorrow. You know, and then whatever. Time passes by and you never start the diet because you're not dealing with the core of it. You're not dealing with what's really happening. Why are you called to numb yourself with sugar or anything outside of you? Because you haven't dealt with the emptiness of the past, the memories, the wounds, anything that has held you back from the past. It's in your system. And if you don't learn to sit down and shift it, only you can do it. Guys, it's going to be haunting you like a ghost. It's not going to go away. And you know, guys, you know it. Look at yourself. How many patterns? You're still repeating the same patterns. And you're like, oh my God, really? I'm still stuck here. Let me numb myself. Let me drink some alcohol. Let me numb myself somehow. You know how I used to numb myself? I told you I did all the substances, right? I finished all that at 17 years old. But, but guys, I used to get lost in the gym, like lifting weights. I was a geek lifting weights. I was like crazy. And then I used to do hours of yoga. I would get lost four hours doing yoga, just lost. It was my addiction. And people were like, oh my God, the guru, like all this yoga, and he can put his leg behind his head, and he can do a one-hand handstand, and everybody admired me and loved me, and he's such an amazing teacher and a guru, and they put me in the pedestal. They didn't know I was hiding behind yoga. Guys, we can hide behind anything. There's nothing good or bad. Is where are we doing it from? Are we trying to numb ourselves and numb that emptiness? Or are we really using that emptiness inside to release what's creating the emptiness so we can feel fulfilled? So we can feel peace once and for all, guys. We deserve to feel peaceful, to close our eyes and say, Oh my God, I love my life. I love myself. I love what I'm doing. I love who I am. Just because of who I am, not because of what I'm doing. I love myself because of who I am. Even if I'm overweight, even if I'm not creating the money I want to create, even if I don't have the partner of my dreams, I don't care. I love myself for who I am because I am a divine being. I am complete. I am whole right now. When you can enter that space, guys, you've touched the magic of the universe. It's the inner universe. Call it God, call it infinite intelligence, call it infinite bliss. I don't care. Name it however you want. It's not religion. It's a state of being. And in order to get to that state of being, you got to surrender yourself. you got to let go of whatever's holding you back. Because if not, you're going to keep playing the same games, the same procrastinations, the same mediocrity, the same ways to pull yourself back into the hole. You're getting there, you're getting there, you're getting there. There's a breakthrough. And then you're like, oh my God, there's a challenge. And they're like, whoa, I go back again. And then again, again, again. This is how the human being has been wired, guys. There's nothing wrong with that. We can break free from those patterns. I promise you. You don't have to repeat them anymore. There's nothing bad. That's how 95% of humanity lives. <laughs> I know. And I still see those patterns kind of coming up. And I'm like, no, I'm not feeding them. Boom, quantum flow. Boom, I shift it. You know, I don't get lost in them. But I've trained myself. You know, it's a warrior training. It's the, the real warrior. The warrior is not the one that has to fight outside. No, there's no one to fight with. It's with yourself. It's with those parts of yourself that want to run away. And only you can sit down and say, let me feel this to heal this. Let me be present. Why do I want to eat that sugar right now? Why do I want to eat not a piece of chocolate, but the whole bar? And not one, but two, but three. I used to be that, guys. <laughs> I, I couldn't eat a little piece of chocolate. I ate the whole thing. <laughs> and it's also okay. In that with everything, you can tell me whatever you want in any way. I had those patterns. I had to shift them from within. 
And this is why I want to share with you quantum flow, guys. For me, the fastest method, the fastest embodiment method of manifestation available that I know of. This is why I teach it, because this is the one that I know of, of, of my 20 years of experience doing everything. It helps you shift so fast, so fast, so profound. And not only just like, okay, let me shift it in the moment. You release patterns that have been there hunting you for so long. They're not there anymore. You shift them. You shift them. Okay, that happens with me with food. Can I say it again? Wow, that painting. <laughs> Thank you, Timothy. I listen to you. I really... Why do I get early childhood painful memory every time I listen to you? Diane, because I'm speaking also energetically. I'm speaking to your soul. I'm not only just speaking words. When I open up, just so you know, I'm not just here just like letting it and talking nonsense. Like, my soul is speaking. Like, it just goes. And I don't even know what I'm, I'm going to say. I just wanted to share with you guys. I'm doing quantum flow and I just wanted to share with you guys my experience. That's all. And that's all I knew. I didn't, I don't have anything planned. I don't have anything written. And when the soul, when it's the soul speaking, you can feel it. You can feel it. It's the goosebumps. And it's not because me or I'm special. That's the soul speaking. It's not the mind. It's not me trying to convince anyone. It's not my ego trying to look nice and good. And I mean, we can do that. There's people doing that. And Whatever, I don't choose that. And if I do it, I, I always ask my students and my people like, hey, let me know if you see my ego flying up there. I, don't, I need that reflection. Please let me know. Call me out, you know. So yeah, that's why you feel this coming up. And I send you all the love. I've been there too, you know. And what, uh, this is what I'm talking about. This painful memory of childhood that we haven't dealt with comes up. And we try to, 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 to fix it or to numb it with substances, with something outside of us. And we have grained that so many times. And sometimes we just, um, we just uh, try to fill it up with emotions, you know. We're so used to acting the same emotions and, 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 and react in the same ways. So I just react with anger and I just get anger every time I feel pain. And that's my way to run away from pain. Let me get angry and shout to everyone and blame everyone and throw things around and like hit pillows and bring my anger out. That's a way. That's an addiction. I am addicted to anger. I am addicted to depression. I am addicted to sadness. It's all addictions, guys. Addiction is just repeating the same pattern over and over again. It's not even about a substance. I see people here saying, where, where can they register for the quantum flow class to work on this? Guys, we're going to be doing this, uh, this, sa this, uh, this Saturday. Even if you can't be there, just write quantum flow and I'll, sh I'll send with you the, de the, the details. But even if you can be there, I'll give you the recording. You're going to have the recording with the live music. It's going to be a whole journey, guys, of transformation. Mindset. All these mindset that I'm talking about, we're going to go deeper, guys. You know how I am. I am a science geek. I love it. I love to share with people, to give you tools so you can work with this, so you don't depend on me. I never create dependent people depending on me on my healings on my teachings putting me on a pedestal i did that years ago guys and it's it's bullshit you know it doesn't help anyone and all i teach is people how to empower themselves that's all i do and if i can give you all the tools that i can for you to empower yourself i'm the happiest person in the planet that's my mission here that's my purpose you gotta own it and embody it same as you gotta own and embody your purpose your piece of the puzzle if you're in service, own that you're in service, that you love to help people, own it. Say yes to it. Accept it. And start working on it. How do you want to serve the world? We're all here to serve. But there's people that love it. And they just, they, they can make their life a service. That's what my life is. I'm here to serve 100%. If I'm not serving my clients, I'm serving my, my wife, I'm serving my son, I'm serving... Everyone and everything, you know, myself and always for the infinite intelligence. It's not even about me, you know, but you got to accept like, what is your passion? What is your purpose? Why are you here? Why are you here? Yeah, guys, it's important. Why are you here on this planet? Have you asked that question before? And you can find out deeper layers of your being deeper layers of your purpose why are you in the planet 
How can you serve more? How can you embody more your purpose? And this is what quantum flow is for. Like every time also people go and do the quantum flow session, they're like, oh my God, I just had this image or this feeling or this vision of I'm here to help thousands of people. I saw myself speaking in stages. I saw myself healing others. I saw myself leaving that corporate world that I'm into and like really dedicating myself to help others. Like they, it's so many breakthroughs people have because you go beyond your rational mind. You go beyond like who you think you are, your identity, what I've been, how I'm making money. Let me live my shadow purpose, you know, because that shadow purpose is making me money. But it's not about the money, guys. You can make all the money in the world and be completely empty and unfulfilled, disconnected. So it's so important for you to like, oh, okay, am I living my purpose? Am I really, you know, creating abundance but doing the, what I love? Am I doing that? Really, get raw and real. And if you're not, it's okay. Love it. Love it. Love wherever you're at. But start shifting it. Start looking for what gives you passion, what gets you going, what lights you up in the morning. That it doesn't have to be a coffee. It's just your thought of like all the amazing things you're going to do that morning. You're fired up. I wake up at 4 a.m. without an alarm, guys. It's like, and I'm like, oh my God, I do my meditation, I do my quantum flow, I start journaling, I connect with my clients, I start working out till like I need a break, okay? And then again, that's my flow. I, I continuously live in this flow state because I've trained myself to do that. I, I live in drive, I live in inspiration constantly because I'm tapped into my purpose. We can all do that. I don't tell you these things to feel, again, Juanpa, you're lucky. No, I've worked my ass to do that, you know? I've done so much work to release everything that was holding me back of my purpose. I used to live in my shadow purpose for so long until I woke up and said, no more. This is not me. Yeah, so guys, some golden nuggets to share with you guys. I really wanted to just invite you to this, um, this transformational um, process that is so beautiful, that it's so profound. Many of you have felt it already. And, and yes, I am, I am listening to you. You are keep reaching to me. You keep still commenting. I'm still seeing comments of the five-day immersion that I did on this fan page. People are still commenting and thanking me, and that was like three weeks ago, four weeks ago. It's, it's beautiful, right? To see like how it has influenced and impacted so many people. So I will be doing more quantum flow activations. Yes, I listen to you and I will be doing that. The next one is this Saturday. Come and quantum flow if you wanna be part of this transformational process and connect with Tribe and go deep together. We're doing this together, guys. And let me know any questions that you have anytime, guys. Always reach out, I'm here to support you guys in these challenging times. I'm here to serve, I love this. So always never hold back. I am here, I am your family. If you are in this tribe with me, it's because we are connected for some reason. I don't have people in this tribe that are not aligned with this and, and if they're not, they won't be in this tribe. Like I'm very clear with that. I want people that are committed, that are, that, that are into the work that want to be the best versions of themselves that are open to see themselves and, and, and want to grow and expand all the time in whatever way. I don't even care. You don't even have to tell me. But just know that I'm here to support you in whatever way. All right, guys. So thank you for listening. Thank you for being a witness of my transformation today too. I love sharing my humanness. I, I love sharing my vulnerability. I love using my life as an example of how we have this available all the time. So much love, guys. Keep shining. Keep doing the work. Keep going deep inside. The, the answers are inside of you. And we are together in this, guys. We're not separate. If you feel separate, it's just your mind. You're not separate. We are together. Yes, yes. Yes, much love, guys, and we'll see you very soon. Many of you, I see Quantum Flow. I'll see you on Saturday. We'll be talking and dancing and working together, going super deep together into Blissipline, the science and art of bliss. 
Yes, guys. Love you all so much. Please share this with your people. If you can share it if, with your people, with someone that you feel that can, 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 can benefit from this, please do it, guys, because I feel that the, the world needs to hear these messages. We're craving these messages right now, and, and it's important for us to step up together. Boom, guys. Pura Vida. Have the best time ever, and we'll see you soon.